Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's so nice to see you. Um, welcome to day seven of our beat along. I can't believe it's already been a week. Um, kind of shocking, but uh, anyway, we're getting there. We're more than halfway through, so that's exciting. Um, so today I had something else planned. Uh, but it ended up being incredibly boring. Um, it was just some various ropes. Um, and I feel like you guys want something a little more exciting. <laughs> and I had designed this to go along with it. And the video was super long. So I'm, uh, we're just going to do this today. Um, cause uh, I don't think you guys need the other part. I think this is the fun part. So let's um, go ahead and get into it. Um, and this is really quick and easy. I am not using much thread for this, maybe two feet. I might run out because I'm using like an end. <laughs> so all you need are some super duos and I'm using this kind of pearlescent color um, and two colors of uh, 11 O's. So I'm using Miyuki 579 and Miyuki 594, which is the um, cream Ceylon um, for mine. So you'll, if you, if we look at this one that I've done, you'll notice one arm's a little shorter. I was kind of experimenting and I actually like the shorter arms. So I'm going to do this one with the shorter arms. You could do longer arms if you want, just, you know, add more beads on the end but you'll see that we have a core with the super duos and then we have these kind of bumps that like um kind of accent the arms as they go out so um it's super quick like i said so um and you can you can give your starfish more arms if you don't want it to have five because you, you know, I've seen um, starfish with like 13 arms before. Uh, they can have a lot. You can fit up to 10 super duos in the center here, but the five, you get this nice little accent bead in between. If you had 10, it would look a little crammed, I think, but you could certainly try adding a sixth one. And another thing you could do if you want to make these longer, um, I couldn't find my matching 15 O's, or I would have added like a couple 15 O's um, so that it kind of looks like it's bigger and then it gets smaller, smaller, smaller as it goes out. Um, I don't know what I've done with them, but I will find them at some point. Uh, anyway, so here we go. We're going to pick up our five um, super doughs and make sure that you have checked your holes to make sure none of them are clogged. I've already done that. And I'm just going to push them down and leave a little tail. And I'm going to sew through them all again. So just sew through the same hole that you've already sewed through again to form a circle. Okay. And then we're going to tie a knot. So I'm just doing a standard square knot, a right over left and a left over right here. Okay, so uh, once that's done, you'll notice that these are not evenly spaced out. You, you know, you might have three on one side to one another. That's okay, don't, don't stress about it. We'll fix that. Um, okay. So go ahead and pass through your next super duo um, just to get away from your knot. <laughs> and then we're going to sew backwards up into uh, the other side, the uh, other hole, the, the outer hole. Okay, so there will be a little bit of thread there, but we won't see that. And I'm going to flip my um, piece over so that I am working uh, in a anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Okay, because that's just more comfortable for me. So if you prefer working this direction, 
that's fine. I prefer working this direction. Um, so we're going to pick up two of our main color 15 O's. I mean, sorry, 11 O's. And we're going to go into our next super duo, uh, the outer hole. Okay, we're, we're only working in the outer hole right now. And then I'm going to pick up four of the same color. And I'm going to go into that outer hole again. And it's going to make that little loop around the corner like that. Okay. So let me pull you in a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to pick up two more and I'm going to go into the next hole. And I'm going to pick up four and I'm going to sew into that same hole again. We're going to repeat this all the way around our five super duos. So we're picking up two to move to the next hole. And then we're picking up four and going back into the same hole again. Pick up two. Pick up four. Again, pick up two. And here, just make sure you're not going into that seed bead. You don't want to do that. And then pick up your four again. Okay. So that's us, we've gone all the way around. So we're gonna move forward through these two right here. Okay. And then we're going to move up two as well. So we're gonna go up these two. And this is where you're gonna recognize herringbone. <laughs> so we're gonna pick up two of our beads. And we're going to go into, so see how we have two and two? This is like our herringbone base right here. So we're going to go into just this one. That's the end two. And then these are the two next to our hole. So I'm coming out from the second one. I'm going into the third one. And then I'm going to pick up one of these other um, colored 11 O's, and then I'm going to go up the two on this side. So these were our original four. Look at where you are. You're going into that opposite bead. So basically you're going up two. Okay. It's the easiest way I can say it. <laughs> so we now have this and that's just going to sit on the top uh, as a little accent bead right there. Okay. Uh, so now we're just going to continue our herringbone. We're going to pick up two. We're going to go down the first bead. And here I chose not to pick up a 11 o. I mean, you could pick up a 15 o if you wanted. You could not add any of them, but um, I just left this one blank. So I went down the first bead and then I'm going up two to get to the end. I'm going to do the same thing again. I can pick up two. I'm going down the first bead. And then here again, I added another 11 0. So I just pick one up and then I'm coming out the second one here. I'm going to go into the second one on this side. And it's just going to sit on the top. Okay. And then I am going to end mine right here. If you want to make yours longer, you can. If you want to peter out um, with 15 O's, you can. But I, so I, all I have to do to end it is pick up one. And then I'm going to sew all the way down these beads. I'm going to pass through the next two between my super duo as well. And then I'm going to go up the next two here 
get started on my next arm. And when you pull it, it's all going to kind of join together in a nice, see how that kind of, this looks a bit scrappy, but once you do that stitch, it kind of pulls it all together a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to do the same thing again um, on this arm. So I'm picking up two. So what I do is the first one, I pick up the 11 -0. The second one I don't, the third one I do, the fourth one I don't, and then I end it, okay? That's um, what I'm doing. So that was the first one I did. The second time I do it, I don't. The third time I do it, I do. And I'm just going down the one bead on the end and then sewing up two. Oops. And here I um, just add the one on the end and then I sew all the way down these five beads and across my next two beads as well okay so I'm just adding my one end bead on here we go see how it pulled all nice together again so I'm just gonna do this all the way around um, it's really very quick uh, so I'm gonna speed through this and I will see you in a minute to show you the very final step. Okay, so I just added my second one. I'm adding the end onto my last arm here. And I'm sewing down my five on the side. And then I'm gonna sew through my two going across um, to the next arm. And then I'm gonna sew through the top of my super duo right here. Okay, so this bit, hopefully I won't run out of thread. Uh, we're going to pick up one of our 11 O's again. And I'm coming out the outer arm, uh, the outer hole of this super duo. I'm going to sew into the inner hole of this super duo. And that's going to kind of place that bead a little above these other beads. See how it's kind of raised up a little bit? That's what you want. And then you're going to pick up another one. And I'm on the inner hole of this super duo. So I'm going to sew into the outer hole of this super duo. Okay, and it should just tuck in there like that. And then here I'm coming out of the outer hole of this super duo, so I'm sewing into the inner hole. You're just gonna go in, out, in, out until you've filled all your holes. So inner hole to outer hole. And outer hole to inner hole. So I filled all my holes, but I have to make one more round and do the opposite. So here you can see I came from the outer to the inner originally, but I'm on the inner now. So I'm going to go through that bead again, and I'm going to go to the outer hole. I'm just going to go all the way around again, all five of those. So that's one, 
and then here I'm on the outer, so I'll go outer to inner through that bead. So that's two. Here I'm on the inner, so I'm going inner to outer. That's three. Here I'm on the outer, so I'm going outer to inner through that bead. So that's four. And my last stitch here, I'm on the inner, so I'm going inner to outer. Okay, so all five have now been reinforced. Um, and so now all I have to do is I'm going to turn, um, oops, I just unthreaded myself. So I'm coming out right here. I'm gonna go in this hole going this way and then I can tie my knot and then I can trim my ends. Um, and that's it. It's so simple to do such a cute little beaded star. Um, so have fun. You can make a bunch of them. You can make different colors. I think they're super cute. Um, maybe even a pair of earrings. Who knows? And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.